everyone. I wanted to take a few minutes and show you how to properly spool a spinning reel. Now the first thing you want to keep in mind when spooling a spinning reel is make sure that you're putting some line on there that's going to give you the right line capacity. You'd never want to have less than 100 yards of line on your reel. Now what you want to do before you start putting the line on is make sure that you open the bale. Now it's something that a lot of people forget but if you don't open the bale before you actually tie the line on the spool you're not going to be able to actually wind the line onto the spool. Next thing you need to do is actually tie the line onto the reel itself. So what I just do is again nothing complicated for the actual uh, knot but all it is is it's really just an overhand knot. So what I'm going to do I'm going to tie it around, loop it around the spool, tie one overhand knot just like I was doing my shoe. From there I'm going to take another overhand knot and do the exact same thing and tie it and pull it down tight. So again now that I've got it tied on there one of the things that I always do is I, I take the actual uh, the actual tag end and I take a set of scissors here and I make sure I cut it as close as I can uh, so that it's not going to impede the line that's coming off the rest of the reel. One of the tricks that I also do is I actually take the sticker from my spool and I'll also put it over top of that. So sometimes you do need to take the scissors cut it a little bit smaller but once you've actually cut it a bit smaller and you've got a smaller piece there what you want to do is you can actually take that sticker and you can actually just put it on the spool right over top of the knot. Now what that's going to do, it's going to do two things. One, it's going to keep that line nice and tight to the spool and the other thing it's going to do, it's going to keep your tag end from becoming an issue for the rest of the line. From there you're now ready to actually wind the line onto your spool. Uh, one thing you want to make sure with your spool is that when you set it down, you want to make sure you've got the label facing up. The label of the spool facing up is going to have that line coming off clockwise. What it's also going to then do, that's going to match it up to the way that the line is going to be going on the reel. So line, again, whether it's monofilament or fluorocarbon, has some memory. So it's got memory to this size of spool going into a smaller spool, but it's also got memory into the direction it's going. If you can keep it going in the right direction, it's going to make things a lot easier for you. So then all I'm doing, again, I'm holding it nice and tight. I've got my drag down. I'm making sure that I've got it pinched in my fingers, again, real tight. Don't wind too, too fast. If you wind really, really fast as you're bringing the line through, you might burn your fingers. Uh, but again, I'm holding it nice and tight to make sure that I don't have any issues. I'm going to keep winding it on the spool there until it's full. Now when I say full, what full means is you want to have it just maybe a sixteenth of an inch below the capacity of the spool. So the capacity would be with the line being completely flush with the spool itself. So again, you'll just keep winding it on there until you get close to that point. We're getting pretty close right now. So that should give me, yeah, that will give me just about 100 yards, probably just over 100 yards on this spool. What I'm then going to do, I'm going to take that same pair of scissors I cut the label with and cut the line. Now, bad habit, grab it with your teeth. I do it sometimes too, I'm sure everybody does, but you could always chip a, te a tooth. You're probably making your dentist's life a little easier, but it's not something you want to do. From there, again, like I said, I'm just going to cut the line. From there, you can take a look at the spool and see what I mean when I say it's full. It's not overfilled. That's probably the max capacity you would ever want to put on your reel. Uh, it's just to the edge, uh, slightly below the edge of the reel itself. Now what I'm going to do is actually show you a trick uh, to actually make sure that you can cast right away. A lot of times, like I said, you've got the memory of the line, which is a nylon line, whether it's monofilament, whether it's fluorocarbon, any of that, it's going to come off a spool this size onto a spool this size, which is going to give it the tendency to want to jump off the spool. You'll make a cast, you'll have that line jump off, and it'll create a big knot for you. So what you want to do is you want to take the spool off. The way you take the spool off is un twist the, the drag. So you want to make the drag, again, as loose as it'll possibly go, and that'll allow you to take the spool of the reel itself off. So again, you want to keep it going until it's real loose. Eventually, it'll just pop its way off. You want to make sure you don't lose any of the washers when you do so. So again, I'm grabbing the line. I'm just going to pop it right off, making sure those washers stay in place. I'm going to take the line. I'm going to wrap it around the actual line tie here to keep it nice and tight. And then what you'll do is you'll take a glass of warm, almost hot water. So again, it's just coming out of the tap. You don't want real hot water. It's going to damage the line. Uh, hopefully your, your girlfriend, wife, significant other, mom, whoever it might be, uh, lets you use a glass. Um, but again, it's just warm, warm water that's coming out of the tap. I'm going to take the spool and drop it right in. Now I'm going to leave it in there for probably about 10 minutes. So again, that warm water, what it's doing, it's making the nylon that's gone from a spool this size 
really fit and change the memory to a spool this size. It's really going to make your life a lot easier. So if you keep some of those things in mind, once you put your new line onto your spool, it's really going to make your life a heck of a lot easier and that's how you spool a spinning rail.